Let's add some conditional logic to your elemental form with a brand new improved bit of code that I'm going to share with you. So let's say you got a form and then you got some checkboxes and I'm interested in websites. Watch what happens when I click it. It goes red and we get another option. Now, if I was to go and pick any of these items, it's not going to do anything different. But if I pick brand new site, another box appears where I can now go and enter in my approximate budget. These boxes would not have appeared if I had not a ticked website. Well, let's just untick it. Now, what if I go for SEO? Now I can add in some further clarity as to what I want. What if I want to go for consultation? I can go and clarify again what I want. And if I go for other, well, you're not going to get anything. You just have a message. So you can decide on what logic you want to apply where. And what if you go for all of the options? That's totally fine as well. It will list them all for you. That's okay. This is really easy to do and I'm going to show you how. Obviously, you need to have an elemental form set up and you will have loads of fields. So I'm going to fly through this really quick, then touch on the really important bits. Name, email, reason. So that's the first bit of the logic. When you pick an item from here, it will then dictate if we're going to show extra or other field. And by the way, you can set these up to be 33%, 50%. You know, you can rearrange how they look and you don't have to always use uh, radio buttons. You can use a select button as well or a checkbox. Approximate budget, SEO option, consultation, and then we have the message. If we go to the name and we go to the advanced tab, I've left that as name, okay? You don't have to worry about any fields that are not part of the conditional logic. You don't have to mess around with, again, email is just email. But when we go to reason, this is where I've done the checkbox and I've gone and popped in my selection, website, SEO, consultation, and other. You go to the advanced tab, the ID for this is reason, and you need to make a note of this, okay? Field ID equals reason. We go to website options. This time I've gone for a select box like we have over here and in the advanced tab. This is really, really important. Okay. C O N D cond. Instead of writing condition, I just wrote cond. Okay. I don't mean condom. I mean conditional. Okay. Or conditional logic to be precise. Cond underscore website underscore options. Okay. I've tried to use a naming convention, which makes it really easy for me to associate it with the relevant field. If we go to approximate budget, it's just a text field. You go to the advanced tab, it's called cond underscore budget. I should have called it cond underscore approximate underscore budget. So I've already broken my naming convention, but you get the idea. The important bit is the C-O-N-D underscore at the beginning. Uh, we go to SEO options. This is a radio. We got some options there. Cond underscore SEO underscore op options. Consultation. Again, we have some options over there. Cond underscore consultation underscore options. Okay. And then the message. Well, I think that was just left as message because we're not doing anything with it. So you go and set up your main field. I could have called that cond underscore reason as well. I got a bit lazy there. But all of the items that will follow a bit of logic, cond underscore, and then give them a reasonable name. Then what I did was I added in a little bit of HTML script. I say a little bit is quite a bit going on here. In fact, there's a whole heap of stuff going on here. But you just need to focus on the middle, but also consider the top as well, because the top is where we go and do the styling. I really like this neat feature. So when you actually click something, not only does it obviously fill the checkbox or the select or the tick or whatever, but it goes red. And I really think that's really cool because it makes it more visual that you have selected something. But it's what you do here that is absolutely important or vital. I've zoomed in a lot more just to make this really clear. So here's how this is going to work. The field with the ID cond underscore website option. So that's the one where now you get to see these options down here, you know, the makeover, brand new site or undecided. That will not appear until the field ID with reasons. So remember the very first one as part of the logic, it's called reason. So you pick website, SEO, consultation or other. If the reason equals website, okay, so that's the item. So you've got to think about IDs and what it says in your checkbox. So if we go back over to over here, can you see the reason websites? So you've got to put the actual uh, phrase that you've written there. Don't put in like an acronym or anything. When the reason equals website, then this field cond underscore website underscore options will appear. If the reason equals SEO, then the cond SEO options will appear. 
if the reason equals consultation, then the cond underscore consultation underscore options will appear. I, I wanted to do this in almost like a logical way and not have too much syntax where you might get confused or you might put the wrong item in. If you understand this logic, okay, so this will appear when the reason equals consultation. That should make sense. And I hope if you stare at the screen long enough, it will fit. But what about the second level we had where we then had the, uh, when you pick a website, then you pick brand new site, then we got the approximate budget appear. So here we go. Cond underscore budget appears when cond website options equals brand new site and the reason must also be website. Now, this is a little bit convoluted in trying to get your head around it. You're having to state not only what is the item above, but also the parent item as well, the one that drove all of this from the start. I tried to make this um, easier to do, and I kept falling over myself a little bit. You know, I'm no expert coder, but I do my damn best to give you some neat tricks and tips and hints and stuff like that. So what you're saying is the reason is websites. This does skip the word equals over here. Uh, I found it was easier to write. You may disagree with me on that. And you may want to tinker with the code. But the con budget will not appear unless uh, inside of con website options, you have picked brand new site. If you study this video and you study what I showed you, this will make sense. So if we go back to the form, you click other, nothing happens because there was no logic for that. You pick SEO, you're going to get these options appear. You pick websites, you now get con underscore website underscore options. You pick undecided or makeover, nothing else will appear. If you pick, oopsie daisy, brand new site, then you get the approximate budget. And when you think about the logic, this only appeared because this field had brand new site and this field only ever appeared because the websites was picked from the reason. So this is a neat little way of doing some conditional logic inside of your elemental form without having to use a third party tool or another plugin. Now, could you go down a third level and a fourth level? You could do, but I did not want to overcomplexicate the code. But if you want to tinker with it, you can. It's all open source and it's just inside of a HTML widget, basically. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and go and think about your conditional logic. See you soon.